Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post here at Sparkfun Electronics. This is Robert, and we've got a couple interesting products to talk about, so let's dive right into the first one, the MicroView Learning Kit. Now this you might be familiar with as the standard MicroView. This was a very successful Kickstarter that we ended up building, and then we ended up carrying the MicroView as well as the programmer on our storefront, and it's a great little product. The MicroView is essentially a combination between an OLED screen and an Arduino all in this um, clever little package. And then this is the little programmer that it snaps into. So let's say you want to use the MicroView, but you don't really know where to start. We have a SIK style learning kit for the MicroView this week, and we have its own special video. So go ahead and check out that video to learn more about the SIK MicroView. Next up, we've got this big bad box of awesomeness. This is the new Ding and Dent. Previously, for our Ding and Dent production builds, we separated them into the different types of uh, SKUs. So we had sensor, you know, SEN, we had dev, we had wireless for wireless, comm, all of those. Anything that we built in production went into these individual SKUs. The problem was, is, you know, we had to figure out which way they went, and it was just kind of complicated to keep all those different SKUs in separate boxes. So we've just combined them all into one big box. So this is every single production piece that we have that just didn't quite make it through the production process. We just have in this one box. So in here, we've got anything from a Redbot main board. We've got a bunch of lily pad stuff. We've got some makey makey uh, sound detector board. We've got a bunch of Edison stuff. We got just about everything in here. Now, this is ding and dent, so we're not guaranteeing that anything on here works. There's still a lot of usable ICs. There's still, you know, maybe some of the stuff in here actually does work, but ultimately we're just selling this as scrap. You can use it for art projects. You can you know, use it for target practice, whatever you want. Um, but the idea is you can take a gamble and maybe you get a red board, maybe you get the App Mega off of there. Uh, we got a bunch of Pro Minis. There's just a lot of different stuff to choose from in here. And I mean, a lot. You might be asking yourself, how do things end up in the ding and dent? Well, there's a million different reasons why something might end up in here. Um, it could be any number of reasons. It could be um, bad rework, like this guy had a little um, rework mishap. Um, looks like something kind of melted on the board or someone was practicing soldering for the first time. Um, it could be something from that. It could be that a panel gets cut when we're depanelizing it. We have this depanelizer machine that cuts across it. Maybe someone misses, accidentally scores the board. Um, there could be even silkscreen flaws. Sometimes when we get a big panel of PCBs from the manufacturer, the silkscreen might be slightly off or slightly smudged on one of the boards on the panel. So we'll populate everything on the panel except for that one and then just break it off and then that goes somewhere else. So there's a lot of different reasons why something could end up in this box. Everything in here is populated, has a lot of um, worthwhile ICs on it, but it just didn't pass testing. So if you want to add a couple of these to your cart, maybe try and get something pretty cool, check out the new Ding and Dent SKU.